Hi there, students. So far, it's been a hot summer, and I, at least, am longing for a whiff of rain or fresh air. OK, a whiff. We can also use it as a verb, to whiff. OK, to catch a whiff of something, to get a brief little smell of something, yeah? To smell a trace of something, yeah? There was a, a, a slight whiff, a whiff of uh, flowers coming through the window, yeah? Okay, so it's just a slight smell, a little smell. Notice in British English as well, we use this to mean, can use this to mean a bad smell. There was a real whiff in the room. So notice, a whiff on its own from a British speaker means a bad smell. It really whiffed in the room, to whiff, to smell bad, okay? Um, and I would prefer a whiff of fresh air. Okay, so let's continue. Um, as a whiff is only a slight trace of a smell, we can use it metaphorically to mean a hint of something, a trace of something. Yeah, something that is coming, yeah, or something that is happening that you don't know all about. So the uh, papers are trying to get whiff of the financial scandal, to get even a slight whiff of it, okay, to have a little bit of news or a little bit of information about it, yeah. Normally we use this to talk about something that's bad or m exciting or dangerous. There is one thing that people like about abseiling, abseiling, going down cliffs, is there is a whiff of excitement, a little smell, a hint of excitement. Okay? Um, so let's see, what's the origin of this? Well, the, in the 16th century, this used to mean like a gust of wind or to blow. Yeah? Um, and uh, it's really come from there. So a whiff of something, a little smell, or a puff of air, yeah? Or a puff of smoke. There was a whiff of smoke in the room. Notice, if I say a whiff of something, I'm not saying it whiffs. I'm not saying there's a whiff, okay? A whiff of whatever, yeah? There was a, there was a good whiff in the room, yeah? Okay, so another thing to notice, this verb... This verb and noun, whiff, is really quite informal, yeah? It's not something to use in uh, a letter, except maybe if you catch whiff of a scandal, or catch a whiff of a scandal, yeah? But apart from that, that's the only phrase way I would use it more formally, and that in itself is probably neutral. So notice, to catch a whiff of... <laughs> I caught a whiff of uh, manure. Ugh. Oh, very good. Okay, um, so I caught a whiff of, and then take a whiff of, smell this. Take a whiff of my uh, uh, cake. It's delicious. It smells delicious. Take a smell of it. Smell it. Whiff my cake and see if it smells nice. Yeah? Okay? Yes, there was a whiff of um, nutmeg all through the room. Okay? So, whiff. A good word for your vocabulary. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.